What's good with YouTube? Y'all already know. Big Vlaco with ACP, a convict's perspective. Hope everybody's having a productive, positive morning. With that said, man, please hit the like, subscribe, comment, do all those things to help support this channel, and hit that bell notification for future fire content. Now we're going to be talking about the, the buyback, the pay to get good again, the way to go from inactive to active, from SMY to GP. And that's basically to pay a fine, basically that's been uh, administrated by a higher authority, which would be a kind of, you know, some think that this is just something that was implemented like the last 10 years. No, it's been implemented for a while, but it's been applied more uh, privately. A lot of people don't know when someone is paying a fine or something to get back in good graces or good standings. I remember the first individual that I know that was fined to get back in good graces and good standings was the rapper Gato Mas Loco. Gato was doing no good when he basically abandoned a position and took off to Texas because he was scared after he found out that both Chico and Goose had basically had flipped and we're cooperating and that's how the NF used to utilize you know basically the buyback they would called a fine back then you know which they still to this day call a fine but they would only apply to those that had money or could pay the fee to be back in good graces around this time is when you started seeing people being fined for infractions instead of being disciplined okay you're gonna have to pay this much money it was another tool to basically you know rake in some revenue for the NF for the mob for the organization and it was very effective. Now at first, anybody who locked it up or whatnot, these were the conditions if you were brought back. One, you had to have not been in the position with people who were PC and not made a move. And two, you could not have committed a crime against the people, which means spill blood or, you know, testify or anything like that. Now, those rules started to change. They started to bring back people that were actually on SNY yards or no good yards. In um, Santa Rita Jail, when uh, Big Happy Cervantes from Lodi, also known as Theo, right? He had brought back two people. One who was previously on the SNY side, who was actually programming in PC in Santa Rita. And who allegedly had been pulled as a writer by uh, Scrappy Diaz. One, Jacob Cowan, a.k.a. Gangster from uh, Hayward. Now, his family were red and white. And they did not want him as a potential prospect, maybe in the future, to be said that he was in PC. So, therefore, a large amount sum was actually fucking paid. I think it's somewhere between eight to twelve thousand. I don't remember the right figure, but that actually did happen. Then you had another individual named Droopy from Dakota, who was in Jamestown programming for a long time. He just stood around and didn't know that he was supposed to get off. Apparently, from what he said. You know, he found out later it was a no good yard. He was probably on that yard for a long time. Came back to Santa Rita. Happy gave him some clutch education, some discipline, and the individual was cleared. Now, I don't know the amount of a fine that he paid, but he had to been paying something. Black Steve from San Jose, he was another one who actually had paid to be brought back into good graces with the gente. So there's a lot of things I could sit there and tell you guys and put out there that actually did pay to be brought back. But a lot of it wasn't actually put out there. There's been a lot of people who have not been really happy with the pay to get back because a lot of times people feel that certain people don't deserve that opportunity. Some people program their whole time in PC, right? And next thing you know, they want to be brought back active. And a lot of homeboys, you know, especially brother and soldados and ordinaries weren't feeling it because they were bringing back dudes that committed serious crimes or just abandoned the gente or did this and did that. Yet now they're supposed to accept them, embrace them. A lot of people weren't willing to do that. You know, it's kind of interesting how you'll have someone who may have committed crimes against the gente, spilled blood, may have did this or did that, but because they have money, they can be brought back. But what about that homie that doesn't have money, that was basically fell victim to dirty politics or somebody crossed him up? Yet because he can't pay the fine, he can't be brought back. There's no equality in that, none whatsoever. Now, without saying any names, you got a recent individual, right, that's been on YouTube who's requested for getbacks, right? Yet the interesting thing about this, right, they're willing to pay, is that they've clowned on people who paid to come back, right? They've spoken all this negative stuff about it, yet they themselves have now requested to come back. And this is where there's going to be a problem on this, because one... 
the person was never ever active in prison. Take time in prison, right? But never put forth to any type of active activities. Okay? Rocked in there with different groups in there that pushed the S and Y agendas against the actives, right? Did their time. You know what I'm saying? Now is out. Off parole. And now they want to pay for it to get back in active good graces. Because they know they're not going to go to prison again. Or lo, lo and behold, hopefully they don't, right? Go back to prison. They've already did all that time on the inactive side. Yet they want to be brought back now. To me, man, that makes no sense. That's like letting everybody else put in that work that was on those lines, that was sacrificing. By the other individual was rocking with individuals who opposed the active line. Yet now you want to bring him back? And he's not on probation or parole, so he doesn't have to worry about doing any time. So to me, it makes no sense. They're never going to be really tested if their intentions are to be fully active. Because to me, they weren't... They weren't there from the beginning. Why would they be there now? You know what I'm saying? There has to be an ulterior motive or purpose. Maybe they're scared of something happening because of the area that they live in. Maybe that's the only way that they can ensure their safety. But let's keep it real. Do you really think a bunch of ants, soldados, ants, and even carnales that made sacrifices that are doing time are going to actually respect that? Fuck no. And the fact that they've been through so many different groups and bounced around, right, and pushed back, it's going to make them think like, damn, like, how can you trust an individual that everywhere they go, they get rejected, or they walk away scared? Now, what could be happening in this whole situation, which is common, they may be getting that money, and as soon as they get that money, ya stuvel. Because I really don't see anything honorable or hold merit in clearing an individual that, basically, the whole time is so done by cowardice acts. Let's keep it real. The moment you walk away instantly and request PC, it's going to be considered a desertion. You know what I'm saying? A cowardly act. And you can't do all your time on that side, right? Push that line against the actives. And now because whatever's going on where we live and the attention is there, now all of a sudden want to pay to be in good standings. We'll say this. Anybody vouching for any individual under those circumstances, they must already be in that man's pockets already. Because that's the biggest fucking joke that I've ever seen or heard of. Someone wanting good standings now. After all, all parole. Right? All probation. And did all that time on the inactive, inactive yards. Right? PC yards. Pushing the agenda against the actives by what they represented. To now trying to be in good standings. That's fucking crazy, man. They may even ask him to do like some type of pagada or hit out there on the streets. Which I doubt he'll do. Right, I know, like in the past, right, they've used people that they already knew were in bad standings to try to do certain moves and then afterwards deem them. You know, for instance, uh, they did that with Rojo from Hollister, he was to move on an individual named uh, a certain individual from Tracy that came through, who was a former Karnan. And word had already got sent that Rojo was no good because I sent word in to Corcoran to Silver. So they used him to try to move on the student to spear him on the tier. Knowing afterwards they were going to still deem Rojo no good because he had been deemed by the regiment commander in San Jose. Can you imagine someone that went PC the whole time, basically county in prison, comes out still like, you know, an SMY guard, never went to active yard, talks all this shit about the active homeboys and whatnot, gets out probation parole, and then all of a sudden now... Now, after he's off probation pro, now he wants to be active. After all those years of other everybody else putting in work and sacrificing on those yards, now they want to bring you back. Nah, I don't. It's not that easy, man. I don't care who's vouching for you. You know, someone from the top's gonna sit there and look at this and say, "Nah, this ain't worthy. He ain't he ain't earned it." You know, saying in fact he's drived up the spoils of, of the people sweating blood, and to think that he can come back. After I already joined another group, man, that's just not a good look. Anyways, didn't mean to run off of that story too much, but it's all related to the topic. People p being brought back by paying a certain figure. You know, you got people requesting it. Hey, I want my, I want my get backs. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I was on a yard for five years, uh, SNY. You know, um, I was a writer, but not a writer no more. Uh, can I be brought back? <laughs> and some people may consider it and put your name up for fucking review. 
you know, to each his own, like I said. Now, the one thing, no matter what, people need to realize that someone brought back by paying a big old fine is never ever going to be respected by their peers, manpower, or whatnot. Even some leadership are still not going to respect them, but they're going to like that money that's in their pocket. So, they will also probably be used in situations where a big guy has to go down or removal or some type of sacrifice may have to be made. Because I don't see anybody just getting a free ride. Period. It goes back to the conversations I had with uh, Flacco one time, right? Where you, we're talking about colonialismo and stuff like that, right? Where either you have it or you don't. And that has to do with a lot of people who are trying to come back. Either you had it as a soldado from the get-go or you didn't. Some people made poor choices or bad choices or were put in bad situations to where they made those choices. Others wrote those choices, right? And feel like they don't have to answer for those choices. It is what it is, right? So what do you guys think? Payback? To be in good graces? Never was a fan of it. I'd rather one be brought back by putting in work, by making a name for themselves, by making the sacrifices. That's just my personal opinion. You know, if I was ever in a position to vote on someone's standings, I would look at all that, you know what I'm saying? And just not anybody is worthy of being welcomed back. But I could truly see one making one believe that they could be brought back just to be in their pockets. You know, I seen that when the situation with Lucas Palacios was going on. You know, and there was communications with Angel Palacios to pay, like, I think it was 50K so his brother could walk the line. They were going to get that money. They were still going to hit Lucas, regardless. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just my thoughts and my view, you know. This payback thing has been going on for a long time, man, and it's really hard to gauge who deserves it and who doesn't. 